in your scriptures. Psalm 29, verse 2. Verse two. Bible said, I give unto the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And the last scripture we put that last week, Second Chronicles 20, verse 21. Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21. And I encourage you that when you come to church, your pastor is a teacher. And when you come to church and you don't take notes, it will not help you. Because the human brain cannot capture everything it hears at the same And that's why when you go to school, we are giving lecture notes. We are giving reading materials. Even though the lecturer is lecturing. But whatever the lecturer lectures, it cannot be in your brain and so this generation has go back to taking notes. You can have apps on your phone that can, you can use to take notes. Or you can have your notebook in your place. Otherwise, you come to church every Sunday. And you are wasting your time. Because whatever you be taught, and the Bible says, and when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord. And that should praise the beauty of holiness. As they went out before the army, and to say, Praise the Lord. So now in our modern day, as children of God, 
must be holy. That means our homes must be holy. Whatever we are working our work is fixed. Everything that concerns us must be holy. Who has been told uh, that in heaven, 
There are songs that we sing unto God. And those songs must glorify God. And then that child has to be singing a song. And the lyrics must not glorify God. And this child said that this is a song of the devil. Because this child has been brought up. Or being brought up in the way of the Lord. Remember what kind of every kind of life you are living. The word of God is not difficult to obey. Because we have the Holy Spirit living in us. But the Holy Spirit is so gentle. That's why the Bible describes him the day the day that Jesus Christ was baptized in water. John the Baptist saw the Holy Ghost like a dove. It is just a symbol of the Holy Ghost. He's a very generous spirit. The Bible said that God will not strike with man. And that's why God said he will not destroy the earth again with so when our hearts and our conscience become sealed, and then and the Holy Spirit keep nudging at our hearts, uh, and we keep on doing things that we even know our parents will not be happy if they get to know. Uh, and even if your parents will not be happy if they get to know, how much more God? Remember that it is the seed that you are sowing, yeah. and the nation that you will influence, yeah. the friends you will influence, the wife or husband you will influence, the family you will influence, the, the children you will influence, the community you will influence, will be the result of how you have led your life in holiness and purity. Hallelujah. Amen. Now let's move to the second key. And the second key has to do with beauty. The Bible says that worship the Lord with the beauty. That means that holiness is beauty. That means that holy. And when we say beauty, we learned last week that beauty is attractive. And beauty is also holy adornment. It's not, it's not only about physical and outward beauty, but holy adornment. Hallelujah. Amen. So the second key is that holiness is beauty and makes one attractive in the sight of God. Let's read Ecclesiastes 10, verse 1. If you are there with me, say hi. hi. If you are not there, say mercy. Alright, Ecclesiastes 10, verse 9. Can make the anointing lose its purpose. 
And instead of your anointing giving up a sweet flavor yes. and, and, and smell, the anointing rather becomes corrupted and cheese. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, you can be a child of God. You have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And when you re- when you choose to live after the holy life, and yet, brother, if you choose to live after the holy life, no. It's not, I'm not talking about good works and bad works. I'm talking about unholiness. If you so who so we so we can say, call for a brabo who while brabo yet to say, oh yeah, or yet perfume, I do consider you a sheep. You will say, Amen. 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 So when you choose not to be holy, then I hope I say, oh yeah, when you choose not to be holy, you become unattractive. Because if you go to buy perfume, and the perfume gives off a bad smell, at that particular shop, you will not choose that brand. So the anointing can be corrupt. You can be a singer and you are corrupt. You can be an usher and you are corrupt. You can be a Sunday school teacher teaching people the word of God, but you yourself, you are corrupt. So you can be a sign boy.